Today, I'm going to be showing you why you really need to think twice when hitting up on the driver. Because we've all been told it, haven't we? We've all been told it. We've got to hit up on that driver to get the most out of it. If we hit down, it's bad. If we hit up, it's good. But I'm going to slightly contradict that today because the problem with that is if we try and hit up, ooh, that won't be good. And I'm going to show you exactly how and why that is today. And what you actually need to do rather than trying to hit up, what you actually need to do to make sure you hit the best drives of your life. Before we start, just thank you very much. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so, so much for subscribing. It means a huge amount. I want to bring the best, best golf tips that I possibly can do. And it's all thanks to you guys who have subscribed thus far and hopefully will do in the future that I can bring the best golf tips to you, the best information that I know of that can help you and your game instantly. On to today's tip. We've got the furniture here, the driver, the chief, the chief of the pack. And this is one of the sexiest clubs we can hit out there. It's beautiful, we love it, it goes miles, hopefully for most of you as well. It's beautiful, but the problem is we don't always know how to use it. And that's the trouble. There's so many different ways with which we can use this golf club to the best of its ability. And one of those massive ways is by feeling like we're trying to hit up. We've all seen those videos. We've got to hit up on the ball. That decreases the spin. That gets the ball up in the air. High loft, low spin, as they say, to get the most out of it. Yes, that is true. But the problem is I've seen a lot of people really struggle with this. Why have they struggled with this? Because they've tried to hit up on that ball. Now that might sound gobbledygook because that's what we're trying to, to, trying to do. But here's the problem. The more we try and hit up, the more chance we have of topping it. Yes, let's repeat that. The more chance we have of hitting up on the ball, the more chance we have of topping it. Why is that the case though? Because the problem is if we try and hit up, look how far that club could potentially get away from the ground. It is absolutely miles away from that ground. It really is. And the problem if we try and hit up the natural reaction is to try and scoop the club up in the air. And the problem with that is the club just doesn't stay low to the ground. And therefore, if it doesn't stay low to the ground, we're going to hit the very top of that golf ball. A nightmare situation. So hitting up in this case has not helped us. So what's the solution? The solution is this. We've got to make sure to be able to hit up on the ball. That ball has got to be inside our left. But, so if we take this logo here and I'm lining up to my golf club, that should be where that ball's positioned as well. That's number one. That's automatically going to help us, not absolutely dead certain, but make sure it helps us hit more up on that ball. But number two, and this is the crucial point of the tip today, we have to make sure that club is low to the ground upon exit with that golf ball because we can still hit up, but still have a wide arc of swing at the bottom. The problem is if we're trying to hit up, our swing arc becomes very, very narrow. Look, the club's here on the ground and then suddenly goes up. That's going to the extreme slightly, yes, but we've got to make sure that club has a nice wide arc and we can still hit up, but make sure that club is low to the ground and that will help us get underneath that ball as opposed to have the risk and run the risk of topping that ball, which is a complete nightmare. So we've got to make sure that club is staying low to the ground on the way through to make sure that club gets underneath that ball. So if you have a trouble with topping it, hitting that ball too low, this is the drill for you. You have to make sure that ball, yes, it's further forward in the stance compared to the irons with the driver, but we need to make sure that club is staying low to the ground. Feel that club almost in contact with the ground, even a foot and a half past that golf ball, because to get underneath that golf ball, we have to keep it low. Keep it low and watch it go, as they say. Please, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'll mean a heck of a lot to help bring you the best content, best golf swing content I can. 